Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's obviously been quite some time since um, since you've seen the pair of us off to Vegas, but that's what we're up to today. Um, for people who've been watching us for a while, you'll remember last time we was both out there. This is what happened. I said, come on, let's have it tonight. One last, one last hurrah. And uh, let's see if we can make back some of this money we've lost. So we're going to find something, hit the bonus. Lose all my money again. <laughs> um, no, come it. on, come on, we're going to win big. So hopefully we'll be back in a minute with a nice win. Okay, so back at Excalibur. We've run through best part of uh, 30 odd dollars. Oh, okay. We've got the feature. The 52 would have been lovely. What have we got here then? Two. This one will do us. Go on, my son, stop there. Stop. No way. That can't be right. We've not caught four grand, surely. No way. No way. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. That can't be real. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I think it is as well. Oh my God, I think we've done it. Um, so we're hoping for some similar luck this time round. Um, but we just had our first stroke of luck, I suppose you can call it that. I'm um, not sure if you can tell, you probably can't, but I'll show you around in a second. Um, we're at the clubhouse at Virgin uh, Heathrow. We just upgraded ourselves. We was in premium, um, booked through the Virgin Atlantic credit card. I'll talk you through that at a later point. Uh, we've managed to upgrade ourselves to the clubhouse and it looks pretty amazing. So I'll show you around in a second. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a couple of cocktails, a couple of champagnes and beers and start the holiday the right way. So we'll see you in a bit. So uh, yeah, as I just said, we're at the, the clubhouse. And this has been a little bit of a, a bucket list thing um, for me, if I'm honest. This place, I've seen YouTube videos of it and stuff for a while and it just always has looked incredible. Um, so yeah, we, it was a, just over 700 each to upgrade from premium to first class one way. Um, but look at this place, like the beautiful bar here. They've got the football on up there. Um, and I'll walk you through. Just had um, a uh, Punk IPA to start off. But you've just got great views over the runway. Um, it looks like this bit back here is the restaurant area so we're gonna have a have a table over here in a bit and sit down and have a have a bite to eat and then obviously we've got the the bed for our flight uh to vegas so again never done that just really really excited for this we never do anything spontaneous like this we're always quite reserved and cautious but we looked at each other and thought ah do you know what let's do it and I don't think I've ever started a holiday uh, quite like this. So anyway, I think I'll do it from here. I'll, I'll show you some bits and pieces from the plane, but we'll see you in Vegas.
okay, so we just uh, checked into Delano. Um, I'll quickly just show you around before we unpack so it's all nice and tidy. There's a toilet literally just as you walk through the door. And this is a scenic suite. Um, I did tip the front desk $20 to try and get a, a good view, um, but it hasn't really paid off. I'll show you the view from the, from the uh, living area. So we've got a pool view over towards Mandalay Bay. I was hoping to have a, a strip a strip view room, but there is a convention on here at the moment. Um, so I do think they're quite busy, but this is a really good space, really nice, um, nice size room. And I'll take you through, uh, quickly show you the bathroom. Uh, so you've got a toilet by the front door, as I said, shower there, another toilet just through there and a tub as well. Um, so in regards to space, this is this is probably the biggest room um, I've certainly stayed in in Vegas. And then here's the bedroom. It's a bit of an odd shape. It's almost like a triangle type shape because you've got these like wraparound windows. Um, I'll show you the view. I'll start with the south side first. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed, but uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We actually didn't pay for this room, so I can't moan too much. Um, so that's the... The pool area there again, Mandalay, uh, you've got the airport in the background, so no doubt we'll see plenty of uh, comings and goings over the, the course of the four days. Um, and if you sort of arch your neck a bit from this window, you can get a bit of a look up the strip. Um, but for how long we're going to be here, you know, this this will do us. As I said, I got this completely free, just had to pay tax and resort credit through MLife. Um, so, bit of a no-brainer really. But anyway, uh, we're going to get unpacked and get downstairs and get amongst it. So we've been uh, chasing this bonus for what feels like the best part of an hour. Um, we had a bit of a decent hit on uh, our free play on Buffalo. We, we turned 40 into 80 and we've been running that through this machine to try and get on this uh, piggy bonus. Uh, which is what we're on here. It doesn't look great so far. Uh, we've only got one spin remaining, unless we hit something here. Okay, great. That's everything times two, so that's a bit better. I don't think we're gonna get our 40 back here, Charlotte, though. Okay. So back up to three spins. So if we fill the screen, which obviously we won't, the grand is uh, 12,000. Oh, was that another times two, Charlotte? Yeah. Okay, now we are, this is gonna be fairly decent then. And that bottom one goes to 16. Okay, right, we are we are in money back territory, I think now. Right, two spins, can we get any more? Okay, three spins to get the last one. <laughs> if we get this, Charlotte, we'll be uh, first class on the way home as well. No pressure. Coming in. Ah. But that isn't too bad. That isn't too bad. So. Just a, yeah, just under dough backs. So that's not too bad. So we've uh, lost our $80 on moolah so we've come for some food at slice of vegas we've got some buffalo chicken tenders and a margarita pizza before we uh head to bed so <laughs> good morning everyone so first full day i've got a total of about three hours sleep uh not a lot at all i was blame the uh the chicken tenders we had from that slice of vegas last night they was so good but uh definitely giving me a bit of jib in the belly this morning so I've been awake since about half past one two o'clock Vegas time so I had a lot of sleep at all um, but I'd set a bit of context for anyone who's new to this channel um, don't expect anything extravagant in regards of editing um, we're quite minimalistic in that respect don't spend ages and loads of care and attention we just we just do this for us really so we can look back in years to come and remind ourselves of the memories we make etc so yeah apologies if this is a little bit rough around the edges um 
we are also low rollers, so don't expect loads and loads of uh, high rolling. That's not us. 60 cents, 75 cents a spin, that's typically us. Uh, but if you're okay with that, then obviously welcome along for the ride. Um, today we're doing a strip walk, so it's currently, uh, I'm still on English time, I think. Five to six. Uh, right, so yeah, five to six. Um, so we're up nice and early. We're going to Denny's, which is our typical jaunt for day one because they're open 24 hours. Um, and then we're going to walk the length of the strip. So we've obviously already started. We're standing at Mandalay Bay or Delano. So we've walked, we're walking to New York, New York now. Um, we're going to stop at the Denny's and then go right the way up to Sahara and get the, uh, the tram back down south. Um, obviously we're going to do loads of pit stops along the way and we'll show you what we see. Uh, so anyway, on to Denny's. We've made our way to Results World and we've found a working Fortune Cup which have been quite rare out here at the moment. Um, so we're just going to take the weight off. So it's a bit of a long walk from Delano all the way up here. Um, and we spent ages on this the last time we was out here. So we're trying to back the outsiders of the field here. So we've got number four. He's currently in second. But I don't think he gets there. Number one is the winner, six to one. So no good on the old uh, Fortune Derby, but um, it's a good way to kill a half hour or so. I think it was only like 10 down each or whatever. Um, we was going to pop into Junior's to get some cheesecake, but the queue is huge. So I must be taking a Fortune in there. As you can see how busy it is. Um, so I think we're going to head up to uh, Circus Circus in a bit. So yeah, we'll see you now from the very new Fountain Blue across the road with uh, coming to Slots of Fun where we're chasing the three double diamonds. They've got the real quarter games here now. We had a load left over from last year, oh, a couple of years ago. So we're just playing through them. Then we have a cheap two on the Heineken at the bar, I think. So we just had a real good hour or so in Slots of Fun. We had a, a bag full of quarters that we had from pre a previous trip. So we played that through a machine and had a couple of drinks. Uh, got chatting to the barman and stuff. So we had our first drink of the day at 
10 o'clock or whatever. And now we're coming to this place, Fountain Blue. They've been building this for as long as I've actually been coming to Vegas. And it's finally open. So we're gonna have a look in here, then head up to Sahara and that's our end point. And then we'll uh, get the tram back to the link for some lunch. <laughs> in and out time. So we've, uh, we've not had much luck so far, but we finally managed to hit a piggy bonus. Um, so we could do with a few of these joining up nicely. So that's a bit of a start. But it's working out. We're about, uh, about 130 down. If we could fill that one in that gap shard, that'd be lovely. Um, so this, we're hoping this gets us something back. Right, here we go then. What's that middle size one gonna give us? What's the options? <laughs> so we're in the Sahara, by the way. We didn't stop at uh, Fountain Blue for too long. These are small amounts anyway, no. Oh, six. So yeah, that ain't gonna save the day. So what's that, six, six fifty, seven, eight, about a 10 now, so. Yeah, that's that's not going to save the day, but we're going to we've got a couple of drinks coming, so we'll have that, and then we'll uh, head on the monorail to get down to the link. So we've come back to an old faithful of uh, of buffalo, old school, forty cent a spin. Uh, hasn't started great. Four games remaining. We're finding the slots seem to be a little bit tighter. Um, early doors for us yet, but um, haven't really had anything to shout about. Won't have anything to shout about anything. No, this ain't going to change us, is it? There you go. Is that it? Yeah. So, how much was that? 220. 220, right, okay. Uh, just like that, we've uh, had a little bit of a change of luck. Uh, I'm trying to work out what this will be. Uh, there's a little bit there, there's a little bit. Yeah, go on, do to press the button, Charlotte? 1840 so uh, we're actually in profit on this machine Jesus is it feeling all right <laughs> two spins later and we're on the bonus again and let's see if we can beat our uh, two dollar twenty bonus from a second ago uh, it's only the, uh, only the eagle free trigger would be great yeah love that Right, so we're back up to nine spins now. Oh, another one would have done. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, we beat, beat uh, we've beaten 220, yeah, so here we go. Uh, still nothing, really. Right, two left. Last one. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. It was an eight, I think, isn't it? The three coins. We've got another eight. Typically, if you get a couple of re-triggers and there's another five, typically you should get a, a half-decent hit. You just jinxed it now. Yeah, probably just jinxed it, but that's... How many coins have we had on this? Like just single ones. There's another re-trigger. So you would think, you've got 14 spins now. Oh, God. Oh, right. Okay. Could be here a while. Let me just uh, grab my modello. Hang on. Right. 21. So this is obviously the old buffaloes. There's no collecting gold heads or any of that stuff. It's just, you just want them wilds with the buffaloes. Lot. So we've got a bit of queen, queen action going on, but we need we need that with a with a decent symbol. Come on then, here we go, here we go, there it is, right on cue. So let's have a times three, times three. Okay, okay, we'll take that though. Oh, that's good, Charlotte. That's 12 times six. There we go. We're back in the game. A little bit of a whinge earlier. Right, go on then. Oh, there we go. We're up to 79. And we've still got 17 free spins here. 
So we don't want any dead spins now. We want to want to keep building on that. Oh, unlucky. I think this is the most re-triggers I think I've ever had on a buffalo. Okay. Oh. Right, so we've still got 12 to go. Can we sneak in another bit of a cheeky big hit? Another re-trigger would do. I've got a feeling it's going to dead spin us here. If we can break 100, I'd be uh, quite pleased with that. So we're on 84.45. Here we go. Almost. Just a one down the middle cost us. Do we get that time tree as well? Because that's probably still half decent, that. I don't know still three quid. Seven to go, six to go. Oh, here we go, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be a quite a long video, this. All right, so we're back up to 13. Can we get another one in? <laughs> Must have half a chance of breaking the ton barrier here, surely. Funny. We've been playing all these like new fancy games or newer fancy games, and it's taken old school Buffalo to save the day. Uh, okay, what are we up to? 80, 89, 80, seven to go. One more little half decent pickup would be great. I think this might be our Charlotte, but do you know what? We'll definitely, definitely take that. That'll do. So ninety dollars sixty cents. So after a couple of hours in Brewdog, we've uh, come over to New York, New York. We've been chasing this bonus for a while. We put 40 in, it's down to 420. We finally got the uh, the bonus on it. So what's it saying? Five times two, is he gonna move it? Sometimes he moves it. He's not moving that, so that's just a tenner, I think. Okay, so that's not great. I think we might have to carry on here, Charlotte, I think. Go on then, give it a hit. All right, let's keep going. All right, a couple of spins later, we're back on it. So we're down to 6.50. So we're on a little bit of a need of a top up. Could do a bit of a bigger one than last time. So let's see. How are we gonna land here then? Mega, oh, just a tenner again. But it keeps us in the game. We're, we're chasing this pot. We know it's silly. We know it doesn't mean anything, but we're chasing it anyway. Right, I said it was pointless, but we've uh, we've, we've opened the pot. So come on. Yes, you're in charge. Come on. Right. So just just for reference, these these are our potentials. So what we want to do is get rid of that 14 one, a bit lively, Charlotte. So find a fork. Meg, Mega's 111, so that'll be amazing. That's it, great. Right, so that, that's the fault gone. So that's the, that's the mini, sorry, that's the mini gone. So we'll get rid of that. So now the minimum we can get is 27. So if we can find another fault, that gets rid of the 2746. Major ado, that's 49. 
So we've got two majors. There's a minor. Minor's the 27. Grand. Grand's the 11 grand. I mean, Ultra. Ultra's 1100. Grand. That's two grands. Which is 11. Oh, Go on in, Charlotte. Come on. Minors. That's two minors now. Ah, oh, it's always going to happen. Always going to be that. Always going to be that. We'll take that though. We'll take that. We'll take that. We've been sat here for about half an hour. We've had a drink. Oh, behave. We're never going to win the Grands, was we? That'll do. So what's that first back to me? We invested 40 in this and we're at 36 and I've had a, I've had a nice uh, shot top there. Look, first one on the holiday, so can't complain with that. Let's play it down. Let's play it down to 30, I reckon. Do you reckon? Yeah, Give yeah. it a 30. So we've uh, come back home to Excalibur. We was meant to be getting the tram back to Delano, but Charlotte was, ah, let's have a little gamble on the way. Let's have a walk. No, I said have a walk. Have a, well, she said have a walk, and there's only one reason why she wanted a walk. <laughs> and that was because we've, uh, we've still got a little bit of gambling money oh, left. I can't help it. But, uh, so we're going to do 30 in Excalibur, 20 in Luxor before we head to Skyfall this evening. So if we do hit anything, I'll be back with a bonus, but uh, probably not. But we're not doing too bad on the gambling front. But if we do hit anything, I'll... A couple of spins later and we're in. So right, this is we want to collect the gold heads here. So we've got a re-trigger straight away, which is great. So we're after them little bad boys, the gold heads. Remember the more we get of them, they start changing the uh, start changing the different symbols. So, so that's, that's two collected so far. Wild there on the elks. That could be good, Charlotte. Actually, that could be quite good. That could be very good, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's not as not as big as what I thought. But, uh, yeah, 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 we'll take that all day long. Yeah, $15, that's yeah, 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 we'll take that. Right, we need one more to change oh, the eagles. So it's seven out of 13. Times two on the, oh, the elks, I missed that, yeah. Right, okay. okay do we get the buffalo and the, and the multiple? Yeah, we do, okay. So that's a little bit there as well. So now, eagles have changed to buffalo. So next up with the wolves, to, uh, no, not the wolves, the tigers. We could do some re-triggers here. Yeah, definitely the re-trigger. Ooh, one coin. Oh, unlucky. Oh, that's good. Right, last spin, yeah. last spin. All right, okay, so that's not too bad. 22, definitely take that. We're in profit. Yeah, yeah, we're in profit. So we'll probably, what do you reckon, play this down to the 30? Yeah, if you want to, we that level. Yeah, play it, play it to the 30, that way we're level. If we hit anything else, I'll let you know. After an absolute age, we finally uh, hit the bonus on Moolah. So, uh, not even sure what happens here. <laughs> Not much. One spinner do. Not the 25. One spin. Not the 75. I'm really hoping this ain't it. I'm really hoping this ain't it. Got seven spins as well. We have chased this bonus. I don't know how much we've invested. I honestly dread to think. Right, we've got seven free spins. Let's see. Moolah Zap. So what does that mean then? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Anything chickens with that or what? No. no? Oh, nothing with it. Oh, 
Oh, look at that, 910. This is a, a 75 cent press. We've been chasing this bonus since we've got here really. Obviously we had a big pickup uh, when we was last out here. Um, I think we've invested, I don't know. It feels like quite a bit. Any sort of money we've made, we've come back to this to try and, uh, to try and make it up. Um, and we haven't got far at all. We keep getting one or two uh, combinations about getting the third, but anyway. So we're at 30, I think Charlotte's thinking Cash and Walk. Uh, I think Cash and Walk might be the best shout. All right, so we're pretty much done gambling for the bit. I think we're about, we're about 70 down between us for the trip so far, which I don't think is too bad at all. Um, just making our way back to the room at uh, Delano, which the, the bit in between um, Mandalay Bay and Luxor. Um, so anyway, Skyfall tonight, favourite bar in the world, bar none. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hit that up in a minute. Charlotte's just having a look through the shops quickly. Um, so yeah, Skyfall, absolute best bar in the world for me. So really excited for tonight. Gonna have a nice couple of beers up there. And then we're gonna probably top our little kitty up, our, our gambling kitty by another 50 or so. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to hit a nice big one tonight. So if we do, obviously as always, I'll show you. So we'll see you there. So we're on our way up to Skyfall. And this lift is on the, uh, the outside of the building. So you just keep going up and up and up. Ears are popping. How's your Charlotte, all right? Mm -hmm. Charlotte's not too keen on this lift, but uh, she's looking at the door. She's looking at the door, but view's amazing. Like, look at that! And just like that, we're sixty-four floors high. So we've moved on to this uh, Scarab game, which is quite interesting actually. It's quite different to what we've been playing for the for the start of this holiday. So it's on a 10 game cycle. So if you look in the bottom right, we're on game five now. So we need to collect these these Scarab things that you'll just see this, this highlighted. And what they do, they hold until the temp spin and then they turn into wilds. So it's all about trying to collect as many as you can in the uh, in the 10 spins this isn't looking too promising nah so this isn't great so you see there we haven't got an awful lot at all but then it refreshes every 10 so we put um we put 130 into this we're down to to one 111 or 114 sorry um so we're going to play for this for a bit we just had a little go on roulette uh which didn't end great so we, we put 20 in each uh, five dollars a spin and we had eight losing hands and then as we walked away the one of the numbers which was Jude's birthday cropped up uh, so we was a bit frustrated by that well at least I was but anyway uh, we're probably gonna play this what do you reckon play this down to 100 Charlotte yeah. that's pretty poor that um, that is pretty poor so we'll probably play this down to 100 and then we'll move on to something else We've moved over to a new type of buffalo. This is a buffalo triple power. We've been trying to get on the bonus for the best part of $50. And we're on it. And it isn't going great so far. But obviously we you know from earlier, we know it only takes a little bit of time to turn around. No, we need a big turn around here. We've uh, had five of eight. 
and we're at one dollar twenty. This is an eighty cent spin, by the way. We need a re-trigger back. <laughs> What's that there? No, it's nothing. Reveal your prize. 750. Uh, so that's 9.10. We've, uh, yeah, not great. We've done about 50 trying to chase that. So it's now, do we continue or do we move on? I mean, I just ordered a drink. So this part of it is like, let's carry on. But uh, see, I think these these pots, they, they sort of, it's, it's like the, like the other ones you get where they, they hit after a certain amount of time. So the other two look ready to go. I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but, uh, but let's see. All right, so Laurie popped to the toilet and told me to carry on. And uh, we hit two, which was the gold in the back. I was gonna wait for him, but he's taken too long. <laughs> Wild goose chase to find a toilet, by the way. All the way back to Delano. <laughs> another, another little re trigger would be great. Come on. Oh, what's that? Okay. Gotcha, there's another one. These, these things must be good, right? Collect three for credits. Here we go, here we go, okay, that's a little, a little bit. So what are we down? We're 65 down in here roughly, aren't we? Yeah. Come on then. Oh, so that's going to change, right? So we need four more in three games. We need a re-trigger, don't we? What are these three... Things do. Do they change at the end? Oh, I do. Come on. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, no. That's going to change. So we've got a five. I, I don't know. Okay, well, let's see what it says at the end. Oh, okay. Let's go. We've got to go for the gold one. Like, come on. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's superb. That's that's that is superb. Well done, Charlotte. That's great. So we're back. Yeah, we are back over 100 now, right? 
Oh, just under, just under. So yeah, that's great. Well done. Right, okay, so that's the end of uh, day zero and day one. Highlights? Mm, Skyfall now. Yeah, Skyfall was great. Skyfall um, was really good. Bro dogs, my first time there, that was really good. Nice couple of hours. Yeah. Sitting there. I'd say the cocktails weren't amazing. Okay. But we played uh, some shuffleboard and was able to like sit on the roof terrace bit for a little bit and that was quite nice. Um Trying to think, we did so much yesterday. I'm trying to remember. We did about ten miles, so we, we walked it was from twelve. Was it twelve altogether? Yeah. Um, so right up to Sahara, as you obviously saw, and, and back. Well, we didn't walk all the way back, but we got the monorail for some of it. Um, but yeah, we did loads. But I, I do like doing that strip walk. It is good fun. Um, oh, Honolulu cookies as well. Yeah, we've got a huge, huge bag in front of us to take back. Um, gambling wise, as I said, I think we're about one fifty down. We're probably closer to two hundred. I think so we've done a little bit of. Odds and sod gambling here and there. So but we the... haven't done our budget. No. Like our budget for each day, we've not even. No. So we touched. we said if we do one fifty a day each. Sorry, I'm just moving that because of the sun. <laughs> um, we're happy. So we're we're way under that. Sort of two days in to be two hundred down isn't isn't bad. Um, so that's gonna. I'm gonna probably end this part of the video here. We've still got a good couple of days left. Um, today we're as you probably tell we're dressed for the pool. Um, so we're going to do that this morning. We'll probably have a little walk down to the sign. Not been there for years. Um, and we're up to the wind buffet tonight. So if you want to have a little look at that, stay tuned and we'll speak to you later. Take care.